Ah, tu jauh. Okay, now we start to load the film to the printer. We find out the film. But we must pay attention to that the film have two sides. One side is smooth, smooth side that without any coating. Another side is with coating. It's matte. So we must uh, use the matte surface for print. But this, the smooth surface side is not for print. So we loosen the roller and we put on the LoRa system to be sure it's fast and wear. And also the, the size position, we must be sure the low paper must be at the middle of the, of the whole flatbed. And then we fasten it. Be sure it can move freely like this. Then we look, look, lock it for the two wheels to make sure the paper will not loosen and not shaking, not bending. After that, we can start to load the film to the printer. Please pay attention to it again. This side is for print. This side with matte, with matte side. And the glossy smooth side is at the bottom. The matte side is for print. Then we push up the roller. Then we take up the front release holder for the wheels, for the pinch lower. We move up, then all the wheels can move up. The pinch lower move up. Then we load the film from the bottom to the front, from the back side to the front side. And be sure it's flat at the middle. The edge of the film must be the same level of the edge of the platform. Then we load the pinch for both sides to prevent the film bending. At that we release the pinch roller holder. So this is the procedure to load the film to the printer. Okay, after we load the film to the printer, then we can start to load the film to the powder processing system. So first we release the pinch roller and we pour the film go through for the dusting system then we start to load the film to the take up device we use the tap to tap bottom the surface of the lower then 
uh, empty, empty roller. Then we put the roller to the pick up device. Then adjust the position. The same edge for left and right side. Then we fasten it. For the both screws. Then we take up, take out the roller. load up like this okay so this is the procedure to load up the film to load the film to the printer and to the powder powder processing system film go from here and it goes through to the powder dusting system and then go down to here and then goes through to the baking planner then go out and then go to the roller up system then we go to the software and we go to test and we choose first head status print. Before we click the head status, we must be sure we have the film to load on the machine. And also the printer already have ink load to the printer head. And also we did the head cleaning before. After that, we place head status. Once we start printing the nozzle check print, the cap staging starts to moving down a flashing jet. Then we print another test print picture out. So we can see all the nodes are printed out, K, C, M, Y, K, C, M, Y. And also for white, we can see the white nozzle print out here and go to here. Also we can print the nozzle check print on a black material or transparent film. From the film we can also see the nozzles print out. For this, we can see the nozzle check print is printed on the metal. So we can make the X margin position, put the number bigger to print again. So from here, we can see all the nozzle print out. If the nozzle is not printed out clearly for each color, then we can start to do another check print to, to do a cleaning, power cleaning for first white head or white head or color head to the head cleaning again, then print again to be sure we have good nozzle check print. So from here, the nozzle check print, we can see the nozzle check is printed out of the film. The film is here. The nozzle check print on here. So we can put the margin position, put a number on the software. We put 30, 3 centimeter. Put 30 on the X margin. And then we go to test, head steady print again. Then we can see 
and not check print. Black print out. Black cyan magenta yellow and from the left KCM1 our print out perfect and also we can see the the white the white is very really hard is hard to see because it's print on the film but also we can see the white are print out the small lines we can see this is the white print on the film the white here or print out white lines the color or print out so if you cannot get a good not check print so we need to go to the software and do the cleaning clean and choose strong clean or normal clean for each head so to, to do the clean job to make sure all the all the print heads have the ink coming out and if you still cannot get a good cleaning not a check print so maybe the the alignment between the cap station and the print head is overlap so you need to little adjust the screw here that this one the last one at both left and the right sides to really adjust the cap station to be sure the printing heads connect well with the cap station. So if you can get a good not check print like this, then that good good news you can start to do the not check print and to do the calibration for next step. And we can see also the white nozzle are print out clearly from is the top, top is the color, and the bottom is the white, not the check print. So if you got the good test print like this for the nozzle, then you can start to do the next calibration.